Hi Air Energies, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we are going to take a look at the the one that um, is coming in for you. So we're going to take a look at new love predictions here and see what's happening for you in terms of love and romance. Um, I guess this is especially catered for those of you that are single or seeking love or those of you that you know have maybe a, uh, like a connecting romantic energy around you and you're wanting to know what will unfold in the next coming months here. Um, as always though these messages do remain general so please just be mindful of that. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section. Um, so with all of that being said Let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle here, and let's see um, what's coming in for you, okay? What are the new love predictions for you here? Okay, you have the Nine of Cups. The Ten of Wands, nine and ten, two consecutive numbers. Also, the repetition of the nine here. So the Nine of Swords here, the Hermit, the Eight of Cups, and uh, yeah, the Eight of Cups and the Lovers here. Um, wow. Okay, Air Energies. Okay. Um, where do I begin? You've got. 8, 9, and 10 here. Something I feel like if you look, reflect back on the 8th, 9th, or 10th here, something significant has happened or something significant here will happen around these upcoming dates, the 8th, 9th, or 10th. It could also, um, it could also be indicating, uh, it could be like a reference, a time frame here. So 8 p.m., 9 p.m., or 10 p.m. Some of you could be receiving communication here from someone whom you're currently, um, you're either giving them a silent treatment or the two of you are currently not communicating. But I'll go into that a little bit deeper shortly. Let's begin with the Nine of Cups. There is something here that is, um, you know, this is the Law of Attraction Tarot card of the deck. It's wish fulfillment. It's a wish come true. There is something here that I feel like some of you, are, like it's like you're holding your breath and you're crossing your fingers. There's something you've been wanting to happen. Something you've been wanting to manifest finally um, is coming true. So yes, it is wish fulfillment. It is a wish come true. Um, Something is finally happening for you. Something here is finally manifesting, especially in terms of love and romance. And oh, got a lot of light now. This card does point to happiness, emotional satisfaction here. Um, it's something that you greatly desired here. You'll finally be able to. Um, you'll finally be able to have this here. So for some of you, I feel like. Um, for those of you that are single and seeking new love, I do feel like there is someone coming in for you. It feels like it's a water energy. Now, for some of you, this is someone completely new. Whereas for others of you listening to this, this is someone who feels like it's a past energy. This is someone whom maybe you've walked away from or the two of you decided to call it quits or you've decided to, to take a break from one another. And I feel like this person is coming back into your life in the next coming months here. I'm seeing positive results and I'm seeing positive developments in terms of love and romance here. I mean, wishes are meant to come true and I feel like this is something you can really look forward to, like really look forward towards a future with gratitude because you are having a wish or possibly wishes coming true. So whatever it is that you've been wanting and you know what this is because there's such a desirous energy attached to this, like it's something you've been greatly desiring and it's something you've been hopeful about even if... You know, your, your your hope or your faith in this person or in this thing fulfilling and manifesting for you it feels unshakable. Even if some of you, if like you've been doubted by others here, you've not stopped believing here. I'm seeing that some of you are going to become closer here. You're drawing, you're drawing very closer to this manifestation whilst others of you, especially for those of you that do have a romantic connecting energy around you here, the two of you are becoming a lot more closer here. So 
So it's a wish granted here, definitely. Take advantage of this moment here. Take advantage of this moment because you do deserve it here. I'm also seeing some sort of celebration here. I'm seeing some sort of celebration or some seeing some sort of uh, party here. Um, it could be some of you, I feel like there's an engagement, a marriage or even a pregnancy that the cards are predicting in the next upcoming months. For others of you, I feel like you're, for those of you especially that have a connecting energy around you whom you are in separation from, or the two of you, you know, you're giving each other silent treatment and you're currently not talking, it indicates that you're going to enter a very healthy state now, both mentally and emotionally, and that's extremely important here. You, some of you are going to be involved with someone who has this very positive, radiant energy around them, who's very confident. Okay, now with the Ten of Wands here, some of you need to release something here. In order, I feel like this, because the Ten of Wands is a card of burden, right? Um, it's a card of burden, stress, obligation, like you're burning out here. Some of you, I feel like, you're, you need to release here. What, are you, what is it that you're releasing? What is it that you need to release? Something here is overwhelming you to the point where you feel as though you're losing control. To the point of you, to the point where you feel as though you can't, um, maybe you can't um, necessarily like control your your thinking here because your thoughts you're constantly being reminded of this person, or your thoughts are constantly going back towards this person here. You're burdening yourself too much. You need to release yourself from some sort of hurt, some sort of pain, or some sort of resentment here. Understand that not everything can be solved. And sometimes you have to give the burden to others. So when it comes to love here, I feel like some of you here, you've been trying really hard to make something work. And you've been doing a lot of the work. Now, you shouldn't feel like a failure just because it hasn't worked out in the way that you've envisioned and in the way that you've hoped for it to be. It's time now to release some of that burden, share some of that, um, you know, share some of that load and share some of that burden. Some things must be let go in order to be set free here. Um, and I feel like there's someone here. I feel like the burden needs to be shared with someone else. And some of you, when it comes to love, like I feel like maybe you, you know, um, other aspects, something here is weighing on you. It could be other aspects like career, finance, or some sort of stress, and it's making relationship or love feel like a burden for you. I'm also the, getting the message that for those of you that are single, don't be scared to spend some time um, with yourself and focus on yourself as well. Now with the Nine of Swords, there is someone here who I feel like is keeping you up at night, or there's someone here who's still very, uh, who still weighs very much um, on your mind here. Um, it's there's some sort of anxiety, fear, or isolation that um, surrounds this energy here. Sometimes this card can be associated with trauma, and um, it's like a it's like a psychological response here that comes from experiencing that trauma and I feel like some of you are going through this uh, which is why again that there's an importance um, there's such an importance placed here on releasing yourself from this entrapment um, the fact that there is a sense of repetition with the cards here and there's this you know then the eight the nine the ten here um, those consecutive numbers tells me that this is something that this is something that's troubled you before. You've been here before. Um, or someone here is coming back. Someone here, I feel like, may be coming back into your life. Um, and be careful that you don't fall back into that same um, repetitious cycle with this individual. Some of you are haunted by what could have been. And again, it's important what could have been, would have been. So again, it's really important for you to release that energy here. Okay. 
Um, the Lovers card here indicates, I mean, you start with the Nine of Cups and you end with the Lovers card. And this indicates a very strong romantic energy. This is love. This is happiness. This is, you know, um, a fate that is destined for you. Um, a very strong romantic energy here. So I feel like there is someone here that's coming in for you. For some, some of you, I feel like this is someone whom you have were connected to in the past. This is someone whom maybe... I feel like you've already fell in love with this person, but there's been a lot of setback or challenges that you've experienced. Um, and therefore, I feel like for some of you, this speaks of a second chance here. Whilst for others, I feel like there's a need for you in order to welcome new love into your life, there's a need for you to let go of someone. If this isn't, if this isn't just needing to, like, if this isn't just a need to let go of someone in particular, then it may be a need for you to let go of that like that psychological trauma or that emotional resentment or that past hurt, you know, those past mistakes. There's a need for you to let go of that because what's happened has happened and use it as a, you know, heal it and use it as a learning tool because what, what you don't heal, essentially, it will be, it will play as a hindrance. It will play it as a hindrance um, to any future romantic relationships here. I'm also seeing closure. I'm seeing that there is a need for you to spending more time on your own is going to be very healing especially for those of you that have come up like have come out of a heartbreak or a separation or if you're experiencing those setbacks and those challenges here with the hermit i'm getting you know um introspection um isolation looking within rather than looking without um the eight of cups tells me some of you need closure you need to you didn't get closure on a certain romantic situation and I don't know that this person can provide you with the closure. And even if they did, I don't know that that closure would then satisfy you. So some of you, I feel like you need to draw on your own closure here. I'm also seeing that there is either someone that's coming in, someone new that's coming in for you, or this connecting energy here with whom you're going to... You're going to connect with this person on a, um, on a much deeper emotional and spiritual level here. And it's funny because I feel like this person is waiting for you. It's like this person is waiting for you to come towards them. The Eight of Cups is a, um, to me, it signifies, you know, a transition or change, walking away from something. Some of you, I feel like I see you going back into the dating scene and I'm seeing like social gatherings, I'm seeing parties, I'm seeing celebrations here. Whilst others, I feel like you're really looking within here. You're really looking within, um, you're looking honestly within and you're answering some unanswered questions. Now, with the lover's card, I did say that, you know, this is a strong indication of uh, romantic energy here. But it could it could be falling in love. It could be commitment. It could be partnerships. It could also indicate being at a crossroads. And some of you, I feel like you might find yourself at a crossroads here. When it comes to love and romance here, there's some sort of dilemma. I feel like maybe this past energy that's coming back here... Uh, they could present you with a dilemma. There is some sort of choice that you're going to have to make, but you really need to think about it carefully here and try and make the uh, best decision for your situation here. Trust yourself and trust this decision as well. It can also raise the question, I feel like there is someone around you here, and again, I feel like this is that connecting energy whom... Some of you, I feel like you, you're either separated or you're broken up, but this person still feels like they're like in your energy field. So I feel like the two of you are still somehow connected here, whether via an emotional or a mental um, thread here. But with the lover's card, I'm seeing that you're questioning um, whether the two of you are exclusively involved here, or you're questioning here like their commitment here, their commitment to you. Or is this something that you were questioning before? I'm 
I'm also getting that some of you might have to make a sacrifice in order to have this love. So for some of you, there is a very strong new, like a strong indication of a romantic energy. Now this could relate to a new, rom uh, new romantic energy that's coming in for your life. But again, some sacrifice is going to be needed in order for you to have this, okay? That nine of cups, that wish fulfillment, that's coming in for you. But I feel like, and that's manifesting, it's, um, it's manifesting for you, but I'm seeing that there is also some sort of choice you're going to have to make. So a wish comes true, but not that it doesn't turn out as good as you want it to be, because I do see that it's, there's emotional satisfaction, but I'm also seeing that there's some sort of, like it puts you in a position where you have to decide. You have to decide on something or you have to decide between something. And I am seeing here yeah, that in order for you to, and those choices or sacrifices, they don't just apply to you either. It's connected. It's, it also applies to this uh, connecting energy here. Some sort of sacrifice you're going to have to make in some way, in some way, shape or form here. But a sacrifice that's made for the right person um, can really pay off in the end, right? Okay, guys, and that's all I have for you. I just want to um, thank you all for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. I will be sharing with you more personal, um, sorry, more general tarot love reading, so do stay tuned. For those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading, just feel free to reach out and inquire. Otherwise, thank you, guys. Take care, and I'll catch up with you later. Bye for now.